Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It's time for Movie and Stitch and my review for my movie for the letter I. The letter I, I chose I Love You Too, which was a movie released in 2010 and was written by an Australian comedian, Peter Hellyer. Now, I'm not a fan of Peter Hellyer. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to see his stand-up or other shows he's in. However, he does he is prolific with work and some people like him. He actually stars in this movie and he's not too bad in this movie. I have to read my notes because some of the actors in this movie I didn't recognise until I read their bios. Brendan Cow plays Jim. He's an Australian actor, writer, comedian, director. If you get home and away, the soap opera overseas, I've never really watched it. He starred in that and he was in three episodes of Game of Thrones, um, which I don't recall him and I did watch Game of Thrones, but I do recall him in the Oz TV miniseries, The Slap. Now, if you get to see The Slap on Netflix or any um, platform, I highly recommend you watch it. It is good um, TV drama entertainment. It is um, really, I don't know, I enjoyed it and um, the subject matter was interesting. To my knowledge, he has no international credits other than Game of Thrones. Now, I'm going to have trouble pronouncing her surname. Yvonne Strapovoski. She plays Alice, the love interest. She's an Australian actor with from Polish descent. Now, I didn't recognise her in this till I read the bio. You may recognise her from The Handmaid's Tale. She played Serena Waterford for 31 episodes and I did not recognise her. That truly blew me away. She's also appeared in some episodes of Dexter, which is one of Thing's favourite shows. He has watched and re-watches. Now, my favourite in this movie is Peter Dinklage. He's an, he plays Charlie. He's an American actor, producer, who you will recognise immediately from Game of Thrones. He played Tyron Lannister, the imp. He is one of my favourite actors. If he's in something, I love watching it. It always brings something different to each role. I find him a really um, to be a really good actor. Now, it also stars Megan Gale as Francesca Moretti. Now, she's an Aussie model turned actress. She does appear in some things. She came to fame when she appeared in a Vodafone Italian branch advert. She was very popular in Italy, almost supermodel status. She appeared in Italian movies and TV, and, yeah, that's where she uh, claimed her fame. She has been in other movies. She was in Mad Max, oh, what do they call it, Fury Road, which was released around 2015. So, synopsis of this movie. Jim, a 30-something emotionally stunted man whose inability to declare his love for his girlfriend Alice this threatens to cost him the best thing he ever had and leads him to befriend a talented short person who helps him find the words to get her back. There you have it, a rom-com. In summary for me, yeah, I wouldn't go out of my way to watch rom-coms. They're not really my thing. But I did enjoy this on a wet, miserable day. It's a light-hearted comedy romance and... Um, it's not a brain drain. It's a good movie. And Peter Dinklage certainly brings something to this movie. Without him, I think it would be a little flat. Um, my crochet project for the movie, nothing inspired me when I read the synopsis of this movie to make. But I am determined to get my advent calendar blanket finished before it gets goes back into summer here so I can use it. So I added two rows of this yellow. Now, it's from my stash yarn and we call scraps scraps, but these were like half balls. I found four 
half balls of this yellow yarn. So I've obviously used the yellow and put it aside and then grabbed another ball of yellow for another project and ended up with four half balls of this yellow of which I have now used two because this blanket is almost at queen size but I have to get a little bit more to go. So that's what I did watching the movie. Nothing too brain draining with the movie and nothing too brain draining with my project. So out of five stars, I give this movie three and a half. It doesn't quite hit the four star mark for me, but that could be my bias because it's a rom-com. But I do recommend you try and watch it. It's on Netflix, all those sort of platforms. Just type in I Love You Too, released in 2010, and it should come up. My next movie for the letter J will be the Australian movie Ginderbine. It's believed to be very good. It stars, and it's not a fully Australian cast, it stars Gabriel Byrne. Um, I'm a real big fan of his work. And it actually stars Deborah Lee Furness, who is Hugh Jackman's wife. She didn't do a lot of acting roles. She's more a director-producer. So it'd be interesting to watch. But that will be my next movie when we have a day where we want to sit around and watch a movie. And Saxon the puppy is asleep and not too demanding. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for watching my movie and stitch review. I hope you're enjoying them and I hope you're finding some movies to watch and combating that pandemic fatigue. Until next time, stay safe, take care, and make sure you have one crafty day doing something you love. Bye for now.